what up what up it's garage gym homie and today i'm reviewing raw barrel no bowl protein powder is it worth it before i get into this here please click the subscribe button i got content coming out every day for you now from health food reviews supplement reviews gizmos gadgets goodies all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there so click subscribe and let's get into this. Man, I'm feeling good today, man. Just finished my last serving of this Noble. See, when GGH does a review for protein and pump formulas, BCAs, that means I went through the whole dang tub, man, to review it. So the only thing I don't do that with are like pre-workouts and fat burners. Sometimes I take them once, sometimes I take them a couple times, whatever the heck I'm feeling. But with proteins, BCAAs, stim free pre work. I go through the whole tub, man, and then I review it. That gives me time to really use it. And I like using the stuff anyway. So it's not like I just use a serving and want to get rid of stuff like this. So anyway, man, you got me off track. Let's get down to business. Quit freaking monkey. And around here we freaking go. This is the raw barrel, baby. The fine folks over at Raw Barrel sent this over to me, man. I'm gracious to them. I was like, man, I'm so excited to use this. This was like, completely no fillers no added this is like that raw dope man this is that raw raw that stuff you try and get on the streets you know that drug addict stuff man this is that 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 good dope right here but then i got kind of scared i was like man is it gonna be freaking nasty what is completely raw whey protein taste like and i was like i'm in for an experience here so here's the deal man are they talking facts or feelings here this isn't freaking Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, or whatever the heck you're watching at home. Straight up fitness talk with Garage Gym Homie. This isn't freaking Don Lemon's protein here, is it? Ellen DeGeneres? Freaking, oh, I'm hard because I watch Tucker Carlson? Heck no. I'm just kidding, man. We're going to find out, man. I'm going to tell you right now. Anyway, they're giving us nutrition facts. One scoop, 25 grams. Servings per container, over 18. So... It, you might look at that and say, well, that's low. Well, it's, first of all, it's a smaller tub. So, you know, it's like, dude, you're getting, you're paying for the raw raw here. I'm going to tell you how I use this and if I think it's worth it. So here we go. So each scoop, each scoop is 100 calories. So that's really on the lowest end you're going to get for a scoop of protein powder. Two grams of fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol. 40 milligrams of sodium, nice and low. We like those numbers. 170 milligrams of potassium, two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, no added sugar, it's just, you know, natural. And 20 grams of protein in a serving. So you take, so I, I would take this with two servings. So that's 50 grams, you get the 40 grams of protein. Straight to the dang muscles. Some of you cry, baby. Oh, but Garage Gym, homie, the science says... You can't get more than 30 grams of protein in a sitting. You can't get more. Your weak little dang muscles can't handle it. Start pumping some dang iron. That protein will go straight to the dang muscle. Your body will use it for good. Anyway, so, so it didn't take me long to go through this. So if I'm using two scoops at a time, I, I got nine uses out of it. So it does go quick um, if you use it like I used it. I'll tell you the different ways I used it. I drank it straight the heck up, two scoops, with water i drank it one scoop of this one scoop of a uh chocolate flavored protein powder so i kind of got a little mix of some flavor in there and i've mixed it with banana and peanut butter uh in a smoothie so by itself i don't really recommend drinking. i mean this is for the hardcore right here this is for hardcore people if you're really really looking for the cleanest which i like man i kind of like to suffer when i would drink this straight up two scoops just with water i was like okay it has this kind of milky taste to it it's not it's not an enjoyable experience i mean definitely takes some getting used to but i was like man it, it just i feel like i'm doing something good i mean i'm like getting that that raw stuff in me and when i use it with banana peanut butter two scoops of this I was like, okay, that's tolerable. That I can handle. That's actually not bad because it kind of just goes with the flavor of the banana and the peanut butter. And then when I mixed it with one scoop of this with one scoop of a chocolate, 
protein powder and I did that by itself and I did it with banana and peanut butter, I was like, okay, it's good. Cause then I could taste at least the hint of the chocolate from the other scoop and the banana, peanut butter, whatever. I didn't even try mixing this in my oatmeal. It just, that would have been nasty. So I really like this. If I was, the ways I would use this is number one, if I want something without any filler flavoring, I like the idea of this. It's obviously not geared toward taste since they don't give you anything for taste. I mean, you're getting the raw stuff. So this is really for the hardcore right here. I mean, to be honest, this is for hardcore health people who just want that raw, raw. I, I liked it personally, cause I like feeling like, I like to kind of, I don't want to say drinking it is suffering. You can add flavor to this. That's the thing about it. I haven't really researched it like that. So it's like, this is pure pharmaceutical grade, unflavored whey protein, no additives or extras. So for me, and if you, you want to drink it with like, like Opperman uses protein powders with almond milk, that would probably make it a lot better. You could add in a little flavor to this the way you want to do it. You know, make your smoothies or whatever. It's just kind of good to go with those other flavors. I like the product, but you got to know what you're in for. It By itself, it's not going to taste good. It, almost intolerable. Uh, but with other things, this is freaking awesome, man. This is, I love that clean, clean stuff. You know, when it comes to protein bars and all that stuff for me, I'm looking for the more raw, the better. And that's why I'm, I stick with those Papa Steve's bars. Anyone can get a candy bar at freaking vitamin shop that's got 20 grams of protein in there and a bunch of a million ingredients. To me, the less ingredients, the better. When I'm on my clean eating regimen, I don't care that much about taste or flavor. I'm trying to just get it in because I, that's how you get this freaking, that's how you get the physique and sculpt the body you want by practicing restriction and not everything's got to freaking taste good. You got to get over that thing about everything tasting good. That doesn't mean you, you want to suffer and life is about things tasting horrible. That's not what this is about. But if you can figure out a way to use this in your regimen, it's great. I mean, 40 milligrams of sodium, everything's nice and low on it. So I don't know, man, you're winning with this. I would check out raw barrel protein, man. For me, I like that kind of thing, man. I'm in the game with this. So that's what I got for you, man. Together, let's get this dang muscle. God bless all you garage gym homies. Always going to give it to you straight till the end of days, man. I freaking love you all. I'm out. Oh, if you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, you're probably drinking that protein that's geared toward taste, man, and not health. End of story.